protest on UFC's fraternity row tonight. That's where a sexual assault case is now under investigation. Police are looking into the possibility that drugs played a role in this case. NBC 4's Beverly White spoke to outraged students who are taking a stand outside the now suspended Sigma Nu fraternity. No response from Sigma Nu fraternity members as protesters hung signs on their house supporting the 19-year-old woman who campus police say attended a party here last weekend and was sexually assaulted. Justice to me looks like the person who was in charge or the person um, who committed this uh, gets arrested, gets prosecuted, gets expelled from USC. USC's Department of Public Safety did not mention any arrests, but its crime alert says the university also has received reports of drugs being placed into drinks during a party at the same fraternity house, leading to possible drug-facilitated sexual assaults. Allegations upsetting to students staging a sit-in at Sigma Nu. Guys just aren't afraid. Like, they, they do these things in big events, and they're, they, they feel like they can do it and not get caught. We've actually seen a lot of men drive by on cars laughing at us. Um, which is super upsetting. It's a men's problem. It really is a men's problem. It can no longer be a women's problem. We're tired. We're tired and there's only so much we can do. We're not being listened to, obviously. Crowds later cleared out, but not before someone draped the Sigma Nu property in toilet paper. As for the fraternity, the DPS says Sigma Nu may not host or organize any activities, social or otherwise, and no parties or other social gatherings may take place at the Sigma Nu house. Participants at the sit-ins say culture change is overdue. We know that this happens all the time, not just at this front, but throughout USC on the row. Men say that they're like afraid of being accused of rape, but like not enough, clearly, if it's still happening at this degree. This Saturday, an all-day protest is planned at this house on West 28th Street. The sexual assault case now rests with the LAPD, from whom protesters say they expect full accountability. In University Park, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News.